We're in a 2007 Infiniti QX56. Having uh, RPM, RPM kind of doesn't work. Stays flat. Goes up, it's sporadic. I did the whole reset thing where you, I don't know, press this and do the key ignition, however it is, and you go through all the different like test codes and all that. That didn't seem to fix it. As you can see, it's at zero right now. We're probably 1,500,000. Put it in gear. Yeah, I see it's at zero. And you can see like the, the battery, there's only one, one uh, little light there. It should be light there, and the temperature there should be lights, and some of the lights are, are off, as well as the tachometer. Tachometer's off also, so I'm gonna send this in. I am going to um, take the cluster out, and then Send it in and have them repair it. See if I can fix it. All right, we're gonna take off the take the gauge cluster out since it's not working right. We're gonna send it in and have it repaired. Need a Phillips and seven millimeter and a Phillips. Start on the bottom down here. There are one one right here. Phillips. Taking off this whole bottom, bottom part of the badge. Alright. Never mind, we got this trailer thing resting on. I don't think it'll be a problem. Yeah, it won't be. Just pops off. There's connectors on the back. Drop this, drop this down. <clears throat> don't even have to disconnect those connectors. Um. Next is these under here. Let's see, there's one, two, three Phillips. Take off the lower steering column cover. These screws are different from these, as you will see. And there will be three of these. There's only two of the lower dash. There's two. There we go. Okay. So see where it is? See where Phillips is right there? It's on it right now. So it goes in kind of kind of more vertical than the the whole, it's not like this, it's more like that. Yeah, it's pretty much straight up in there. If you get a light, you can see it. Oh, crap. Should have kept going. You actually can use your light and follow your way in. If you look real close, you can actually trace it in there. So I've got it on now. I'm just gonna keep spinning, spinning. I don't want to take it off. Didn't feel like that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I think it was actually off. I think the screw was off. I just had to pop, pop it off like that. All right, here's another connector. You could take that off. You could just leave it on. Why make it more difficult? This top comes up. No screws or anything, it just, it just comes off. So it goes like this, I'll put it like that. And then this thing comes out. This little bezel thing. Whatever it's called. Pop. Let's see. 
probably all comes off together. Yeah, that comes off. That comes off. So this whole thing is kind of separate. Okay. Pinching it. So there we go. What? There. Okay. So you kind of just get your fingers behind it and pull like that. All right. This guy is coming out. Maybe. I'm gonna lower my steering. That's one thing that's nice about keeping your connector on. Okay, connector on this though. Well, I might leave that on also. <laughs> Just leave all the connectors on. You can take them off if you want. And then let's see, there's seven millimeter. Where'd my little tool? There's four seven millimeter bolts. All right, I've got this little ratchet wrench that's got an angle on it so I can go straight. Probably just a normal socket and ratchet, an extension. Would be better. Sitting there right now. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I might have lost it. <laughs> Crap. We'll see. I'll take it off and see if I can find it. So if you had a magnet, you could put like a magnet back here also while you're doing this. I have one. I might be able to find that somewhere. I heard it. Hmm, might be gone. to put this on the floor also because that's the only one that's a bolt, the rest are Phillips. The key working on cars that I haven't developed yet is not breaking things that aren't already broken like random stuff when you're taking it off like these connectors and not losing hardware which I have already done Part without breaking anything without losing anything skills I do not obtain put one back in there. I'm not too concerned. Maybe. Let's see if I can find it. Alright, now this one, which I might have to get another tool for. Screw it. I'm getting, getting proper tool. Oh! it. Oh, I just popped out of there. 
Okay, no big deal. That is one reason to take your connectors off though, in case you close the door on yourself, behind yourself. Ah, kitty! You scared me! <laughs> I didn't see that kitty at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. It's already loose, so I can just do this. I think. So I researched and found the cheapest place I could that would repair this. It's like $85. And then the cost of shipping coming back, it totaled like 105 with tax and stuff. Which isn't bad, 105. All right, now I got all those out. Should just come out, yep. Okay, there should be a connector back here. Yep, this connector right here. Push down there. Pop it out. Bada bing, bada boom. There it is. Mail it in and they should fix it and mail it back. There's your part number. I think a new one is like, I don't know, 800 bucks? 1,000 bucks? Something ridiculous? No, I just gotta find my screw I missed. I lost. Got the gauge cluster back from my airbags. I'd say they packaged it a lot better than I did. That's nice bubble paper. Alright, here it is. Warranty void if removed. Makes sense. Wonder how long the warranty is. Let's see, I left all these connectors on if you remember. These ones and those ones. Not a big deal. I think you can leave those on. Just careful when you close the door. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this thing works. Oh, that guy's cruising. And he's breaking. And he's cruising. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm forgetting. I have my steering mode on automatic. Moves back. Right. Put this guy in. Yeah, when I open up the door, the steering wheel goes off. You guys having a lot of fun. Alright, let's see here. Okay, so far the battery looks good. Tachometer looks good. Huh. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep hooking it back up. I guess. Looks good to me. I'll go for a cruise and see if it stays good. Um, I'm gonna put this back together though. Gauge cluster. There's four. They're the only ones that are little hex. It's that little. What was it, eight mil? No, seven. Put this in there. I'm gonna do one here, one there, one down there. Since I am missing that one still. This, uh, it's just down there somewhere, it's not a big deal. You don't have to have it. I'm gonna start with this one. All right, seven millimeter. Good and snug. Do maybe we'll do the bottom too. No, I'll do the top one. I'll do 
this one down here. I could maybe go get another bolt. Let's see, see if it stays in there good. If it does, I won't. The popping is kind of weird when I'm tightening it. You really don't have to tighten these that much. Alright, I'm gonna put this thing back down. Give me some more excess. I wanna lose this one. Oh boy. Oh no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Need a magnetic socket. Oh, phew. Wait. Wow. What in the world? I like heard it going. I really just think that one. No way. Come on. You're under here, aren't you? That. That screw hole. That one sucks. Who needs four when you can have two? Alright, the thing's in there. It's not going anywhere. If I find the other ones, I'll put them in. Alright, once the gauge cluster's in, next is this. Steering wheel back down. There we go. Okay, so there's a little in here. It goes into these holes. These clips on the back. push it in and go for it. There was a thing around here. This thing goes right here. Put in from the outside. There we go. It's all popped in there good. Okay. There we go. Like that. Kind of sits there and holds this up. Clips into there. Just clip that thing in. Okay. All right, it's all clipped in there. Put the hardware back in here. Let's see. It's three. These three bolts, well they're Phillips, Phillips head, they've got a square end, the last two, there's only two, have a pointed tip. If anybody wants to send me a couple extra screws for the gauge cluster, let me know, I'll take them. take out this angle. Let's see. Yeah, if you use a light, you can see it in there. Okay, 
those are all tight. Now I'll put it on the bottom. Yep, it's in. Try to make sure this is all good. What's up, buddy? And then one here. That doesn't seem like it's going in right. Oh, the downward angle. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's that kind of angle. That's right. Yeah. A little less angle there. Oh, too tight. Don't do that. Just cracked it a little bit. Okay, so I'll tighten up both those bottom ones. This thing's back together. I'll take it for take it for a cruise. Make sure everything's working. Oh. Battery gauge flickering. Oh, there it go. went on. Uh, I don't know. It's probably fine. Um, we'll see. We'll see if it stays good. Battery being totally full. Or the fuel. I'm not sure about that. So far the RPMs look good, speedo looks good, fuel level might be good, oil pressure is good, battery is good, tire pressure, sensor. Yeah, so far all this stuff's good. Fuel levels, I think it's good, it might be really full. Uh, temperature, I think it's right. I mean, it's cold, it's warming up, so that's right. Um, oil pressure, those, these two hashes over here, that's right. Battery's right. We'll see if I get temperature in, that's the transmission temperature. That'll take a little while. This truck needs some shocks. It's got the air ride in the back. And I don't know, when I turn it on, I can hear, sometimes I can hear like a grinding sound, like a, a grinding motor. But I mean, so I don't know if the motor's bad or if there's a leak, if the shocks are leaky, but the thing just bounces like crazy in the back. It bounces in the front too, you can kind of hear it clunking. So I'll probably do the front suspension also. But the back, I want to just go to. I think static ones and not the air ride. Gotta figure out how to do that next. So yeah, temperature gauge has come up. Looks good. Alright, so just getting back from the test drive. And the transmission temperature showed up. So everything looks like it's good. Um, the trans will take a long time to warm up, so that's that's normal. Um, as long as the fuel is full, which it could be, it's super full, but as long as the fuel's full, then it should be all good. Um, yeah, so the trans temp right here. And then when I first turned it on, one of those little light LED lights on the battery was off. So let me see if I turn it off. 
and then turn it back on. Okay, yeah, there's... That looks good still. There's two there. Should go up to three. Yeah, so everything looks good. Um, I'll report back if there's any issues. But like and subscribe for more how to's. You, Infinity, Volkswagen, Volvo, GMC, bunch of different cars I have that work.